Hi, Pastor Billy Burke here for your word for today. Oh, are we ever coming down the home stretch in, in this presidential election? Tonight is another debate between the vice president, Mike Pence, and the, the opposing, or excuse me, the objective candidate, Kamala Harris, who's coming in running for that under the ticket with Joe Biden. These two, these two candidates are gonna collide tonight. And you're gonna, if you're gonna watch that, some people say, I didn't wanna see that. Some people say, don't matter, my mind is made up. I wanna say this, very interesting in all of this. And remember the verse in Ephesians chapter six, where the apostle Paul said, we don't fight against flesh and blood. This is the great apostle. This is the man who wrote, most of the New Testament, wrote more books than Jesus. He was the great apostle. I mean, he, he was, I mean, he was the shining example of what it means to give everything, follow someone and give all. He was amazing. And in his teaching, you know, he really displayed this dark kingdom, this unseen, invisible kingdom that's run by demonic force, voices and strategies. Paul's the one that basically broke wide open. We walk in two worlds every day at the same time. We walk in this natural world that's governed by natural law. God made that world. We know about that in the book of Genesis. He recreated. But there's also this other world, this unseen world, that is controlled by angels, both fallen and those that walk with God and demonic spirits, disembodied spirits. And, you know, the devil himself. Some people seldom talk about the devil today. Like he's, they talk about trouble and hatred and crime. And he's behind all of that in some way, indirectly or directly hands on. But sometimes we forget about him. It's so easy, and we go after the people. We go after the people. I don't like him. I don't like her. He stands for this. He stands for that corruption. Well, the reason that he stands for that corruption is because there's another force that's working behind the scenes. Do your best this, this political season to try and separate people from the opposing force. Remember whenever Jesus turned around to Peter and Peter was saying, don't go to Jerusalem, don't die, don't suffer, don't go to the cross. And Jesus turned around and he said these chilling words, Satan, Satan, get behind me. For you don't savor the things that belong to, to God. You savor the things that belong to man. You're not after God's plan. You're after your own plan. So he separated. He, the devil was trying to make Jesus mad at Peter, trying to get him to fight Peter, tempting him to get into a quarrel or a battle. But Jesus didn't take the bait. He said, I know what's going on here, and I know you're moving through him. I'm not going to, I love Peter. I'll work with Peter. I can't ever work with you. That's what's going on today. A lot of these people that are opposing views, you know, they, they don't even know what's controlling them. To kill babies, especially in their trimester, to open up borders, to say you can't protect yourself with arms, you can't bear arms. On and on and on and on, you know, this thing just parallels with many of the things that Jesus took on with the Roman Empire. And we're dealing today with the evil empire. And we're all in it. But we have the power to vote. That's, that's, that's this big election coming up. And we have, we have the power to pray. We have the power to look at the candidates and say, you know what, I'm not going to let what I see in my natural eye guide me and direct me. I'm going to vote right alongside who represents what I believe morally and spiritually the most. I don't want to know who goes to church. Everybody goes to church. I want to know who stands, who's on the Lord's side. That's what Moses said. He drew a line in the sand and he said, who's on the Lord's side? Come with me. 
And on that day, thousands of people stood with Moses and even more thousands stood on the other side. And on that day, there were many people that were killed. And now we're not talking something that drastic, but we are talking about the killing of, of life in the regard of opportunity and fairness and civility. These are all issues that matter for every race, every creed, every color, every tongue, every gender. So I'm saying to you today, pray, pray, pray. Pray, really pray. Every man, grown-up men, pray. Young people, pray. Ladies, pray. Children, teenagers, come on, everybody pray. And then let God settle in you under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Get, get a piece of paper and find out what every one of these candidates believe. And when you watch that debate tonight, if you should, I'm not saying you have to, but if you should, don't just look at the people and the clothes and their personality and how they project. Test the spirits. See what you hear coming out of them. And say, boy, that don't sound like God to me. That sounds more like God to me. Go by the spirit. Why? Because the Bible says that the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. That's your word for today. Up and coming this weekend, another virtual healing miracle service. We're finishing up taping in Orlando for the uh, Harvest Time Crusade coming up October, excuse me, yeah, October 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. Four glorious nights. I can't wait to come into that atmosphere yet again and bring you into that atmosphere with me. Always good to be with you. I do pray for you. I do. How do you pray for me? You don't even know me because I put my hands out and I say, Lord, cover all of those who tune in, who show a sign of hunger. Everyone that opens the refrigerator door, everyone that turns on the stove or pushes a button on the microwave, God, touch them. Touch them and bless them and heal them, strengthen them, prosper them today and in the coming years. No matter who is the president, you are our president. We vote for you today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Call the number on your screen. There's someone there that is willing, desirous, and hungry to pray for you. And when you do, please sow a seed. You know, out of all the money that you've been entrusted with, I know today's a very difficult time. The belts are tightened. People are budgeting. But don't leave God out of your giving. You have many places you can choose to give. I'm happy that you just choose somewhere. But let me tell you about this soil. Let me tell you about this ground. It's very good ground. I'm not asking the giving to Billy Burke. I'm asking you to give to the ground. This is the ground that produces miracles, the harvest of miracles. And I believe when you sow into the ground because of the ground, you reap what that ground produces. Do that today. You won't regret it, I promise you. And as we go, remember Mark 10, 27, with God, all things, your thing, Come on, smile is possible. God bless you. Join Pastor Billy Burke and his team for Harvest of Miracles. Coming to you from Orlando, Florida on Facebook Live, Sunday, October 25th through Wednesday, October 28th. And will feature praise and worship. You will hear testimonies from people who have been healed by God's miracle working power, ministry from God's word, special music, and prayer for your needs. This virtual miracle crusade begins at 7 p.m. each evening for Harvest of Miracle for four exciting nights, October 25th through 28th. Expect your miracle because with God, all things are possible.